Yo everybody, it's Anime James here giving you my next LP, my uh, part two of my medieval LP. So, last time, what we did was that we started the game, we went through a pretty poorly rendered cutscene, we, uh, we awoken from our crypt as our main character of medieval, Sir Daniel Fortescue, and now, uh, we actually just finished, uh, going through the graveyard, killing some zombies, got the golden chalice, and we went into the Hall of Heroes and we got our first weapon, the crossbow. And now we're about to head into our next area, Cemetery Hill. So, I just want to apologize for last, for the last part, uh, with it not having any commentary, it's just that I'm kind of dealing with some technical issues, like, um, since my computer kind of sucks, I can't really record commentaries while playing the game, I can only pre-record them, and Pinnacle Studio, I recently downloaded Pinnacle Studio, and now it's acting weird when I add in the commentary. Oh. So, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason, the analogs, for some reason, the controls do not stick with, uh, ab right after you apply them in the PS3, on the PS3 when you play, uh, PS1 games. Uh, yeah, as I actually mentioned in my last LP, in my pre-recording that I couldn't, uh, add in, was that I actually grew up with, uh, the PlayStation 1 analog stick. Oh, okay. So, this is actually really interesting. If you find these uh, treasure chests with the skull and crossbones on it, uh, and if you hit it, it it's a instant one-hit kill for zombies, but unfortunately, the blast radius is not good enough for killing off these zombies. was that I actually really wanted to do medieval, you know, seeing that it's a whole season. And, uh, you know, what better way to, you know, what better way to give honors to medieval, one, one of my favorite PlayStation 1 games. I actually have never had any childhood memories with this game. Uh, maybe because, well, I was kind of a, I was kind of a wuss wuss when I, when I was younger. Uh, and definitely thinking about it, when I played this game, it probably would have gave me a lot of nightmares. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's uh, the cutscenes are kind of ugly, but it's meant to be ugly. As in, you know, as in, you know, it's meant to be kind of like a horror game. Okay, I'm trying to find the club, but I can't seem to find the club. Because you're supposed to use a club to get past all these rocks. Over there. Well, it might be in that treasure chest, I don't know. It's been a while since I, since I started the game. Okay, oh! Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these guys. They're they're like faster than the average. Okay, here we are. Okay, now this is our other weapon. It's actually a very, it's actually a temporary weapon, but it actually is very useful when crushing boulders and and uh, killing zombies with just one hit. But you gotta be really precise. It also acts as kind of a torch, but I I. I think I'm supposed to use it. Uh, but it's but you're very limited on how you use your club. Uh, see, like that, you can kill zombies. Which is yeah, this club is actually this weapon is actually limited on how much you can use. It. Back here, we can actually torch our club to help 
us activate switches that only that are only activated by fire. Okay, so gotta go back. Gotta act, gotta, uh, gotta set up our club. There we go. I'm trying to make sure I don't accident accidentally walk into the fire while doing that. That's that's something that you gotta be careful with when using the club. I gotta activate this. And now I gotta kill all these zombies. Okay, I might, I might need to. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch back to my spells. And I just used up one of my life bombs. save file. So I'm just gonna go on ahead and try and try and play this game by memory. Yeah you can actually use the clubs on the club on these boulders, but I'd rather save my club. Oh look at that treasure treasure is And we found another copy of the and there's another treasure chest down there. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. It looks good. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Because those copper shields were meant to help us get past these boulders. And I am an idiot. And because I'm an idiot, I. My, because, because of my curiosity, I went ahead and opened the treasure chest. I thought there was gold in there. So, no, here's some gold. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Treasure chest. Copper shield. Yes. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I forgot that those red, that those red uh, boulders are unbreakable. time for us to head to the Hall of Heroes. Back from the battle so soon? It must think it is a hero by now. But only a true hero is worthy of a place in the Hall of Heroes. See the ghostly statue of your fraudster self? When it has turned solid, a okay. true hero you will well, be. We'll just have to try and try and save the world then. Oh, okay. So it looks like we're gonna get some life bottles or gold. Hurrah! I knew it would take more than the army of the Hurrah! I knew it would take more than the army of the evil dead to throw your strides at. I have something that may help you on your quest, Captain. I give it to you freely, though I have no yes, idea what it, it is. Okay, it's a life bottle. Good. Definitely gonna need a lot of life for this for this game, because medieval is actually kind of difficult. So now we're about to leave the Hall of Heroes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I really, I actually really love this game. It, it's actually kind of like a, a gothic Legend of Zelda. Uh, let me just go ahead and save my progress. Yeah, as you can see, I have two save progresses. Uh, that's just in case that this El that's just in case the Elgato kind of glitches out or whatever. Okay, so now we're about to head into the hilltop of no, the hilltop Mizulia. Forgive me if I butchered that name. Alright. Okay, so. Yeah, I remember this 
smart. Oh, jeez. Yeah. You gotta be careful with that because these goblins, they will just pop out of nowhere.
Throwing damage, yeah. That's not gonna be enough for us. So let's go ahead and back up here. Okay. It's really windy outside. Okay. fought our first boss, it's time for us to head into the next area of the game. Which is progress first. I, I just tend to save a lot because I don't know, I, I'm I'm kinda of paranoid that my PS3 might die out. I don't know. I'm just kind of paranoid when it comes to my video games, but uh, right now we're actually about to hit, return to the graveyard. So... Oh man, it's really windy outside. Okay. Oh jeez. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Where's my sword? I'll get my sword. Ah! 
That's a lot better than the copper shield. Oh, and look at that. There was a there was an instant death chest right here. Ah, so are you? Uh, 
and I think actually after we fight the Puma boss, or the lion bosses, uh, we actually unlock the, the dash ability. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to make sure that I jump on these perfectly, because we're jumping on... Oh, wait! I think there was a third panel. I think there was a third platform. Well, I mean, yeah, there. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. platforming in this game, it's kind of clunky. All has changed outside the necropolis. Paths go this way, paths go that way. Nasty, painful death waits round every turn and over every hill. Bon voyage. Alright. Now it's time for us to go to the Hall of Heroes and get our next weapon. Or new or or a new weapon or uh, sorry get a new weapon or a new item like treasure or a life bottle. It's the Hall of Heroes shopping mall. Bargain hunters should check out the ground floor. Well-to-do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. Okay. Okay, this guy. Okay, looks like we're about to get the hammer. Ah, Fortescue! What's this I hear about that Archcad Zeron still being alive? 
Thought you killed the fella. <laughs> Never mind, you old warhorse. Better show him what's what, eh? I expect Johnny Zombie's a bit more of a handful than you remember. How are you doing for weapons? <laughs> Here, take my war hammer. It'll smash anything and it won't fall apart like a club. I only ever get to use it cracking walnuts around this place. Yes, we will accept this weapon. Nonsense, Fortescue. I won't take no for an answer. Knock a few heads for old Stanyar Iron Hewer, eh? Alright, now we got our new weapon, the War Hammer. So, as, uh, as that guy, as that guy said, I already know his name, as he said, this is a lot better than a club. For one thing, it doesn't have a percentage bar. We can use it as many times as we want, and if we hold down the, the square button, we can make a shock wave. Unfortunately though, this means that we can't use it to light, tor light up torches, but whatever. We'll just have to use our club at the right time. Alright guys, so I think that should be it for now. I think that should be it for part two of my medieval LP. So, as a show, I really hope you all enjoyed that part. Uh, make sure to make a punch that like button if you love the video. And if you want to support my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'll see you all next time on part three, where we actually go through the pumpkin graveyard. No, Scarecrow Field. <laughs> Sorry. I, um, yeah, so make sure to stay tuned. Later.